Welcome to the super terrific Happy Fun Show. I'm your host, Benjamin. Alongside me is the Annunciator, Primus. and our musical director, Dom Jot DJ. Today, Dom Jot Human. Let's start the evergreen comedy question mark with our top 10 list from the Late Show Archive. Top 10 things Dave prays to God won't happen in 1988. This is from, well, I'm afraid to even say that date. It has a trigger warning. You talk and you talk, but you have no gromba. Oh, I got plenty of gromba, DJ. Okay, January 6, 1988. There you go. January 6, I said it. Let's go. Get the comedy going. Top 10 things, day praise to God, won't happen in 1988. Number 10, UN declares International Year of the VJ. What's downtown Julia Brown up to these days? I mean, are VJs still a thing on MTV? Not really. Well, who introduces all the music videos they play? Play Tom Jot Human. A music channel that doesn't play music? Okay. Number nine. Nabisco introduces Hair Newtons. Number eight. Guests take me up on the offer to come back anytime. If there was one guest, I'm certain Dave never wanted back. Had to be Crispin Glover. What a strange individual. You just knew when he was kicking at Dave's head, he was never coming back. Number seven, Brock Gumble joins the carpool. Oh yeah, classic NBC, edgy Letterman doing whatever he could to get under Gumble's skin. My name is Lawrence Grossman, the president of NBC News. This prime time program was my idea, and I'm not wearing pants. I have removed my pants. Number six, fans find out I'm voice of Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs Bird. Number five, Peter Uberith, Uberith, Uberoth, Peter Uberoth. Here he goes, the never-ending battle with speaking. Peter Uberoth allows Tommy Lasorda to manage nude. Just remember, this is being read by an idiot. Number four, National Guard units start taking orders from Buck Owens. I don't know what that means. I try to find some context for this one. I don't know what Buck Owens was doing in 1987 or to start 1988 that Dave was praying to God he would not be giving orders to the National Guard. I just remember Buck Owens when he was picking and grinning on Hee Haw. Number three, copy turns up of my old movie, Cockpit Sex Fest. Well, that's a tongue twister. (laughs) Cockpit Sex Fest. Okay. Nutsiator, you may have to start doing this. Number two, Leonard Hart 7 which I did dig up some context for this one. Think back to the late 80s. Who was on top of the entertainment business? Bill Cosby, along with being on top of a few other things. <laughs> Thank you, DJ. Well, in 1987, he starred in a movie called Leonard Part 6, a spy parody. He just didn't star in it. He wrote it. He produced it. And it bombed. Some have gone as far as to say it's the worst film ever made. And finally, the number one thing Dave prays to God will not happen in 1988. Venus slips out of orbit, scrapes Earth, I have to replace gutters. That will do it for the super terrific, happy, fun show, evergreen comedy, question mark. All of us here at Gem and 80s, thank you for watching. And we'll see you on the next show. I was at a casino, and I was standing by the door, and the security guard came over. He said, you're going to have to move. You're blocking the fire exit. As though if there was a fire, I wasn't going to run. <laughs> if, you're, if you're flammable and have legs, you are never blocking a fire exit.